Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom coming to you live from the Seattle basement apartment. In the basement of the apartment. Uh, talking about that, I had to do this video a little earlier today because tonight I've been told by Hernandez that we have a timing chain problem with the Perlocopter. So. I have to go up there and look into that, which means just hold the flashlight. Well, uh, Terizo, our mechanic, our perlocopter mechanic, does his work. So, because I don't know how to do nothing like that. Okay, quick picks. I'm going to give you the quick picks right now. That's what you want. That's what you're all here for, right? The picks that I'm going to do, NHL picks. I'm going to do for you quick picks right now. Then we're going to go into our picks from yesterday. Then we're going to go into a deeper look into these picks and see why we're picking them. Maybe we may change our minds. I don't know. But these are what I have right now. I'm going to give them to you right now. Okay? Okay. Bruins, ML, over five and a half. Hurricanes, ML, over five and a half. By the way, the Perlocopter is for uh, you subscribers, the people who subscribe to the channel, or those who haven't did it yet. I don't know why you wouldn't have yet, but here, here you go anyways. Touch that subscribe like right now, and uh, you'll get the, uh, the uh, Pearls of Wisdom necklace, Pearlocopter to your door once we fix the timing chain. Hurricanes ML for over five and a half. You got that? Okay. Panthers in reg. Under six and a half. That's a good total. I like that under. Uh, Islanders, ML, over five and a half. Over the Flyers who just got spanked. Hardcore. Uh, Lightning and Reg, under five and a half. Wings, puck line. Under five and a half. Or sorry, yeah, under five and a half. That's right. Jets, ML. Under, over six and a half, over six and a half. I'm a little iffy about that one. Wild on the puck line, over five and a half. And Arizona, ML, under five and a half. There you go. You got your picks. You got that? Hope you had your pens out. I'm going to do them again after in you can watch the whole video and you can see all the picks done very slowly and explained and we're going to look at our picks from tonight. This is for the these are for the 18th. We're going to look at the picks we had for the 17th which we did very well on. We've had a great week, a great month. We're up like crazy. That's why people are flooding over to Patreon, which I'll give in the uh, in my description there. Uh, I had a wrong link before, but I have the right one now. So if you tried before and it didn't work, try it now. Uh, go to the $25 tier. I'll give you your money right back. Yep. And then after that, uh, you'll have to pay. But you'll want to because you'll make so much money that it won't matter. Okay. Let's go to our picks for today. Yes, today. <laughs> Oh, boy. Okay. All right. So we had the Jets and the over. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Jets over. Uh, oh, that's right. I need Vegas to win this. And I hit a freaking parlay. And they just came back from 3-1. Forgot about that. Vegas MLs this. I hit a parlay. Nice. And Jets would have been part of that parlay. We had Jets on the PL. We had Jets ML here. And we had the over. The over was the biggest play. Uh, so we did really well. Here we had the Shark, or we had the Golden Knights uh, in regulation, which might not work out. And the over, which looks like it's good. And uh, yeah, so, oh, the Golden Knights just scored. Really? Boom. Look at that. Just turned. Boom. We're hitting a parlay by the looks of it. Sweet. Nailed that. Big, big money. Uh, Kings versus Blues didn't nail this. But it was for, I did not like this uh, play. Here, if you don't believe me, let's go over to uh, my Patreon here. 
Yeah, there's the tiers. This is what it looks like. You can have this as a tier. 30, that's Canadian. It's $25 US. But we'll go to uh, my published picks. And you will see, I had, uh, you'll see the Rangers pick there. Rangers over Flyers, PL. Oh, that was a parlay. Yeah, Rangers over, Rangers and the Flyers over, Jets, PL, and this one, ML. And now Vegas is up. So looking good. Uh, Golden Knights versus Jets, Sharks over. And then Golden Knights over the Sharks. There you go. Uh, Blues over Kings. This is where we screwed up. Blues over Kings. But I want to show you what I do here. You can take a look. This is what I do. This is the kind of service you get over here at Pearls of Wisdom Industries. Oh, no. I didn't do a write-up on this one. But I had Blues over Kings ML. Small Pearls, though. And under, under could still come in. We could break even on that. Look at that. I'll give you an idea what I like. See, this is the Jets game. We... Uh, this is the Jets game. I'll give you a look at the Jets game here. See, I give you a little thing. I tell you the Jets' first game of the series. I tell you all the reasons why. As far as I spell things wrong, <laughs> I am concerned. I take them as a surprise dog here. Uh, I thought they were a surprise dog. I don't know why they were a dog, but we took Jets over Canadians ML and the over, both of them for medium pearls. So that's two to two and a half per. So that's the kind of service you get there. Uh, let's look at our picks. Let's go back to the picks. Okay, so we didn't get the Kings. Uh, the Oilers, oh my gosh. I thought that I had, we had the over here. We took the over. But I thought the Flames were going to do way better than that. I had them on the ML. But the big play was the over. So we got the over, which was good. Uh we nailed this one. We had Canucks ML, and the big play was the under. So we got them all, 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 all. And the big play was the over here, but we had the Flyers for a little bit. So I don't know. We were up like crazy pearls on that night, last night, tonight, whichever one you're watching this at. So let's look at our picks for tomorrow, shall we? Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Where are we going here? Here we go, right here. Oh yeah, this is Odd Shark. It gives you like opening, Bodog, all that stuff like that. I just want to make sure that this is working properly. It is because I just did a video and it didn't work properly and it ticked me off. So now I'm going to do, okay, that was all of our picks. This is the 18th. Boston versus Buffalo. Buffalo fires a coach. Quite often you go with the team that... I, I'm, I'm not going to put much on this game. I have a feeling it depends on what Granado does, the new coach for the Buffalo Sabres. He could get these guys humming, and they could come out rocking, and Boston hasn't been playing the best lately, and Buffalo could win this game. Uh, otherwise, because so far all I've seen is a whole bunch of I don't care out of Buffalo. But... Carter Hutton is probably going to be in net. I just can't take a team with Carter Hutton in net any time. So I'm going to take Boston, and you got to go in reg because you're going to bet and make 144 on this game. I don't think so. Uh, and what am I doing? I'm doing over five and a half just because Carter Hutton is really bad. And uh, Halak is in that. He's been a little bit shaky here and there. He could let a couple in. So that's what I'm doing. Carolina versus Columbus. Um, I'm just, I'm taking Carolina, but I'm just taking a ML. I know you're not getting much juice on this, but Columbus is going to just had a couple days off, three days off for Tortorella to finally have some practice time with Lion and Roslovich and all those guys in the lineup. Merzlikens to work with their goaltenders. They've been out of sorts. I think it's very possible Columbus wins this game. Carolina just came off of a bad loss of the Preds. But I'm probably taking them ML. But for small pearls, I'm not putting much on this game at all. And I do like the over five and a half, though. 
just simply because of the goaltender matchup. But neither. I think I'm putting small pearls on both. Because if Columbus is practiced, they should get back to way to the way they were before. My gosh. We just hit Vegas just scored again. Holy crap. Crazy. Anyways, nuts. Uh, so that's good. Um, yeah, so Carolina for small pearls. Florida, Nashville. Florida's going to spank Nashville here. They have to. They have to. Nashville is without their best defenseman, their number one center. Uh, another uh, Fabro, Dante Fabro. Uh, they've got injuries coming out of their yin yang here. Let's look at their in injuries. Look, look at their injuries. Boriecki, Duchesne, Cunning, Ryan Ellis. Three of their top four defensemen are out. How does Carolina lose to that team to begin with? Like, it's a case of we got nothing to lose. But. Florida, I don't think is going to fall for it. I think Florida takes it. I think they take it in reg. I tempted to go PL on that. They're just playing in a, such a way that I don't think they take any team lightly, honestly, right now. Because Florida is a team that's playing the nobody believed in us game. Right, game. And, uh, uh, so, and they're stretching with that. I just think Florida crushes here. I really do. Islanders, Philadelphia, I'm taking Islanders. After Philadelphia got spanked, there's something wrong there in Philly. Something is wrong. And uh, I don't know what they're going to do. Are they going to react here after that terrible loss to the Rangers? I mean, it's not just that terrible loss. It's a series of bad pl plays, bad hockey. So I'm taking Islanders ML. And I'm probably going the over just simply because Philadelphia's defense is so bad. So bad. I've been making huge money off of Philadelphia over now for a while. So, yeah, Islanders and over because I believe it's five and a half, right? Yeah, five and a half. So, Tampa versus Chicago. I don't really like this game that much. Um, Lankin and Vasilevsky should spell an under, but Tampa Bay should be angry right now they should be angry they beat dallas though uh they played well in a lot of these games if they put a full three periods in they beat teams like chicago easy easy even with lankin in it. i'm probably going to lean the under just simply because those are two great goaltenders but Tampa Bay's got to get their head out of their butt. They're way better team than they're showing right now. And Chicago can surprise any team. They don't give up. They're a very resilient team. So I'm treading lightly on Tampa. And uh, But the thing is, what are you going to do? In regulation? Really? You know, Chicago PL might be the better play. Are they giving you anything on a spread here? Yet? No. Uh, let me let me refresh this. See if we got any spreads. Oh, there we go. Now we got a spread. Uh, plus one. Might, that might be the play. You're getting one eighty three on a plus one and a half with Chicago. Maybe uh, that game could go so many different ways. I'm really not sure about that game. Uh, I, as far as uh, how much they played and everything, uh, it seems about even. Tough, tough play. New Jersey versus Pittsburgh. Um, I got to go Pittsburgh all day here. I got to go Pittsburgh all day. Uh, they, they Pittsburgh just lost to Boston. Um, Jari should be in that. Blackwood should be in that. Was there? I think there was an injury issue that just came up with Pittsburgh. Oh, Malkin is out, isn't he? Wow. That's right. Malkin is out. Malkin. Marino, oh my gosh, San Jose just scored now. This is crazy game. Holy crap! Uh, Marino, McCann, Friedman. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm still gonna go with Pittsburgh. Uh, New Jersey doesn't have much to to go up against Pittsburgh right now. 
Uh, it's in New Jersey. Yeah, I'm going with Pittsburgh, and I'm going to go with the over. Pittsburgh and the over. There, done it. Okay. Uh, Detroit, Dallas. I'm taking Detroit PL. Detroit's just playing too good. They're playing. They're believing in themselves, and they're playing like a team that has pride. They're playing with pride. And Dallas has been inconsistent as all heck. So Detroit PL, which would pay spread. 165 is not bad. It's probably going to be under two, under five and a half. Uh, especially if Bernier's in there. Bernier has been absolutely insane this year. So, and, you know, Dallas has been going with the kid. I don't know what's wrong with Hudobin. Uh, I think I better, yeah, but Detroit doesn't score all that much. Yeah, under, under five and a half. That's probably the best play there. Minnesota, Colorado. Uh, this is a really tough, it's basically a coin flip. And for a coin flip, I'm going to take Minnesota for 244 on the ML. Why not? And uh, as far as the total is concerned, I, I'm not sure. Uh, you got Kakinen will probably be in net. There's no goaltender confirmations here. Colorado probably go, has to go with Grubauer. Just a, there's a lot of scoring in both of these lineups. They can be fast. They can be exciting. Uh, even really good goaltenders are going to have top tough time scoring pucks against both these teams. So I think I'm going to go over five and a half. Minnesota has a tendency to go over a lot. Winnipeg versus Edmonton. They're both on a back to back. That's the thing. The thing about Winnipeg and Edmonton is they're both on a back to back. Edmonton's flying from Calgary home. Winnipeg is flying from. Winnipeg to Edmonton. Edmonton's coming off a huge win against Calgary, uh, scoring an awful lot. Um, Brassois should be a net for Winnipeg, and Corpusalo, unfortunately, will be a net for Edmonton. I gotta go. I'm gonna lay, lean the over. I don't like overs at six and a half. I don't like it, but for small pearls because Corpus Allo is just not very good and both of these teams can score like crazy. So, uh, and Brassois though has been fantastic. So I'm going to lean Winnipeg ML here. I think you're getting pretty good juice on that too. Yeah, 210. I'm going to go Winnipeg ML. Arizona, Anaheim, under five and a half. I gotta go with Arizona. Anaheim's a wreck right now. They got two of their best defensemen out, and they didn't really have all that much depth as it was. Uh, the people take the 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 defensemen taking over are not that great. Um, Arizona should is going to be going with Hill though, and Anaheim's going to be going with Miller. Anaheim can't score. Hill is not the greatest, but he can stop enough. Probably under. Probably Arizona here. Okay, that's my full 42%, boys and girls. That's all I have to give. Uh, people ask me, what do I mean by full 42%? You know when hockey players say, you got to give your full 110%. Well, I've only got 42. So, But I give every inch of that 42 to you. Every tiny inch of it. So if you hit the subscribe button, and I'll send a freshly lubed Perlocopter over to your door. And you will get a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace for thank you, thanking you for uh, joining the family here at Pearl of Wisdom Industries. That's my full 42, boys and girls. Have a great day. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.